200 people are out of a job tonight. One of the largest private ambulance services in our state is shutting its doors. CBS North Carolina's Jonathan Rodriguez has the latest from Goldsboro. The state of North Carolina will probably be in shock tomorrow. This is one of the very last trucks Johnson Ambulance Service will have on the road. It's been a very hard decision. Uh, it's been, uh, we've been trying to dodge it for three, four years. Owner Maynard Price says they simply don't have enough money coming in to keep these trucks running and that bills for services have gone unpaid. Ultimately, it comes down to, I mean, you guys are doing these services and just not getting paid for it? Yes, yes. The ambulance service ran 24-7, more than 70 trucks and nearly 400 employees. It's, it's, it's hard. It's really hard. Uh, what I hate to see so bad is that we got 400 people that's going to be out of a job tomorrow. Those employees just found out yesterday. We waited to the last minute, I guess, to tell them, but we didn't know ourselves till the day before yesterday. Price said he had no other option and will close all of their locations and even the EMS training center in Goldsboro. He says, honestly, he's not sure who will make up the thousands of calls these ambulances ran every month. We're sorry that it's like it is, but we don't know of anything to do about it. And so uh, to all my employees, I'm truly sorry. That was Jonathan Rodriguez reporting.